Hello everyone, VegasVic1965 and welcome to my What If series. Over the next several weeks, I'll be doing some videos on What If and that is uh, right now the Mesa. So the, the Mesa doesn't have a village, but if it did have one, what would the village look like? And what I have done in this series or what I'll be doing is going over all the different professions, the profession buildings for each and every villager, as well as a number of the houses that uh, What If there was a village in a mesa. So I hope you enjoy these, this series of videos and without further ado, let's find out. For this week, what if the mesa had a village? We are looking at the shepherd's hut. This is the build and in a moment, we're gonna take a look and see what we need to build this. Materials we need for the shepherd's hut are 24 cobblestone, one cobblestone stair, 21 dark oak planks, 28 cut red sandstone, 37 smooth red sandstone, two chiseled red sandstone, two dark oak logs, one glass pane, one flower pot, one cactus or a flower of your choice, 32 grass blocks, 17 dark oak fences, 39 smooth red sandstone slabs, two dark oak pressure plates, two doors, eight hay bales, more or less, depending on how much you want to decorate it up, one loom, eight dark oak buttons, nine torches, at least a minimum of nine, and two sheep. Once you pick out a spot, the front of this will go seven across. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. We'll go back five. One, two, three, four, five. We'll go in three. That's one, two, three, and out three. One, two, three. Bring that across five. One, two, three, four, five, and then bring it up. We're going to take our only cobblestone stair. We're going to put that in the middle. So we're going to be at the, the fourth block in. Three on the left, three on the right. Take our dark oak plants to, to fill in the floor. And that should be your foundation. Now for our corners, we're going to take our cut red sandstone and we're going to come up in their corners. Also the door frame. And these spots where I've just placed the cut red sandstone, we're going to go four blocks. Now that once you've had your corner pillars put in with the cut red sandstone, we'll come around to the back. We're going to go back four blocks from the corner here. That's one, two, three, four, and then bring that across. And we'll take our smooth red sandstone. We'll come to the front, up three blocks. On this side is where we're going to put our, our pot. So we'll take our flower pot, put our cactus in there. And we're going to take one smooth red sandstone slab and put that right there, just like that. Come to the other side. Smooth red sandstone again. This is where our window is going to be. The dark oak log on this side, this side, glass pane in the middle. Around to the back, our door is going to be going here. So smooth red sandstone, three blocks up on each side. Going to take out our chisel to put that in the middle. Come around to the front of the hut. Also right there. Should start looking something like this. Now we'll come to the inside and use the last of our smooth red sandstone. And we'll work on the roof. Now come to the back of your build and take your fences and we'll start placing those. side of the house we'll go ahead and set our doors down from the inside one here and one in the back we want to set up a couple tables for him put a loom in the middle we'll put a hay block we'll put it right there on the outside 
Of course, we say he's got a fresh delivery of, of hay bales. You can use however many you like, whatever design you like. Yeah, I guess that should be good enough. Now you're going to want to put a couple sheep in the back. Uh, it's a simple matter of probably making like a staircase or something and having them follow you with some wheat. You put a couple of decoration blocks in the back of, of uh, hay bales. That should be enough. We'll come around and do our buttons. We'll go to the front. These buttons help keep it in the Adobe type feel. And I keep all of these builds in the Minecraft Villager type of theme. If you haven't noticed that already. <laughs> That should take care of the buttons. Now we want to put some torches. We'll put one here above the door frame. Come to the inside, one above the window pane. That should take care of any light levels inside there. I think you might have one or two that might be light, block light level of eight, which is just fine. On the back, we'll put one here on this corner and also this corner. One on the, above the door in the back. And then we want to make sure we put some torches on the roof as well. These full blocks uh, could potentially have be a spawnable location, so you want to make sure you have adequate light levels there. The bottom half slabs you don't have to worry about. And that should be your shepherd hut complete. Well, that's going to wrap it up for this week's What If the Mesa Had a Village build tutorial uh, for this week's build. So if you like this video, click that like button. If you want to subscribe for past or future videos, click that subscribe button. It really helps me and lets me know I provide great quality content for you guys each and every week. So until next week's video, we'll see you then, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.